What is up everyone and welcome back to the Hammer Survival Series. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you guys want to, make sure to leave this video a like and also to subscribe to catch any other future Hammer Survival Series episodes. And for today's episode, what I want to start off with is a mining session because I haven't gone in a long time and I'm really running out of coal and I don't really have that much anymore and I need to go down back to the mine, get some supplies and get some stone for other builds that we want to do in the future. And how I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to live stream this. So link below, you can watch me live on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash JT Hammer. If you want to make sure you can catch all those videos and all those streams as well, make sure to follow that. And with that being said, let's get on to the mining session. All right, so after our little bit of an adventure, we did get a lot of stone. We did go mining for about two hours during our stream. So if you were there, thank you so much for coming in, saying hi. I appreciate anyone who comes in. I'll talk to anyone. And another thing we did during the stream as well is, uh, of course, we do have our super smelter, but we don't have a way to get our wood. And where is it all coming from? Or where's all our coal coming from? Well, that's what we did as well during the stream is we built a little bit of a sawmill, which I was super excited to actually do and i think it looks really good and it came out to look pretty good it's a very simple build nothing too crazy it was super fun to make it was super fun to uh talk with you guys during the stream uh with everyone who's decided to come on by i do need to fix that that this one that doesn't need to be there but if you guys see it's pretty simple it's just a bunch of wood logs all that kind of stuff uh, we got the furnaces in the middle, you know, to melt all the wood down to charcoal. And you got the smoke coming out from the top. But the one thing, too, is where is it all coming from? That's the story that we're trying to find out. So our next objective is we're going to build a dock right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a boat that transports all the wood. And that's where they're getting it from. So let's get on that right now. Alrighty, so the dock is done. Very simple, nothing too crazy. Just the same kind of design I do for all the docks in this world and all the kind of places around us. So I'm really liking this. Uh, let's get working on the actual ship portion of it though so they can actually see where the logs are coming through and continue on this little bit of a story that we got going on. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, the ship is finally done as you see behind me. It is not actually my design. It is a very old design by Madness, I believe 64. I will actually put the link in the description to bel uh, below so you guys can check it out. So if you guys want to make it as well. I just don't know how to, you know, make boats. So that's why I got it from him. So all credit to that, my man. Um, thank you so much for the tutorial. It was really good. I did do a little bit of my own kind of changes with it but now moving on to the story what we need to do is we need to act like this place is dropping off logs and not this place this uh ship is dropping off the logs so let's just start stocking this place with some logs and we'll be getting on it so what we're going to do right now is right in this area right here i do want to build a ginormous crane because you know we're technologically advanced in this city um so let's get on that right now because you know these guys are kind of lazy. I don't think they want to work too hard. They just want to get go through and get all the logs here. But it's these guys' job to get the logs over here. And you know what? They're smart. I think these guys are pretty smart. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a crane for them. You know, make it easy. We're advanced here. This is how we do it in the Hammer Survival Series. So let's definitely get a crane going. And I'll be right back. All right. So what we want to do is I want to have a pretty strong base for this thing so we just need to go one two I'm gonna go up four with some smooth stone slabs and then let's grab some walls really quick all right we got the cobblestone walls so just put those babies right here and then let's grab some stairs all right so we just make this super easy just one two three four five six seven and eight and then for the base, what I'll probably do is use just... Actually, I like the smooth stone. Now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of like this smooth stone look. But do we need to have something else in there as well? Let's just look. Let's look. Does that look sturdy enough? Um, I think so. I think so. Maybe we can add a little bit more detail to it and maybe make this a little bit wider. So let me make this a little bit wider and move it probably over one and then we'll be good to go. 
I'd say that looks a lot sturdier, a lot bulkier. Gives it a little bit more, it looks like it has a little bit more strength. So next thing we gotta do is we gotta do the top and then the pole, I think is what it's called, that actually holds the um, logs. Yeah, all right, let's get to it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, the crane is officially finished. As you can see, we have the two bolts on the top. You know, helps it swinging around. And we got the log being transported from the new use of the chains over to the furnace in the storage unit and how we are getting the fuel for this massive super smelter. So with that being said, we got to move on to our next project. But I have to say I'm very, very excited with how this came out to look. I think it looks really good. And yeah, let's get on to the next project now. So guys, I'm still in a little bit of a building mood and what I want to do is I want to continue this town that we've got going on and I want to build something right around here. I want, some, uh, want it to be something kind of simple, nothing too crazy, nothing too big because I don't really have a ton of room to actually work with. But I think it will just be cool to keep adding on to this small little town. I kind of want to make it a banner house, just some place I go to make banners. Um, I probably won't use it as much as probably some other things, but you know. Let's, let's just keep building up this town. Let's keep making it look as good as possible. So, so I'm going to go get some more materials and then we'll get on that right now. Alrighty, we are back and we are done with this super simple little house. And I'm actually really excited about this build because it was something super small and it didn't take me a very long time, but I did get to focus a little bit more on just some of the smaller details and some of the different colors I can put into this build. Um, we haven't done the interior yet. It's pretty plain, but we are going to do that in just a sec. But before, I did want to appreciate just like the style of how my building has improved to let's say something as horrendous looking as this you guys ever just be on one of your worlds and just absolutely hate one of your builds well if you have this is this building for me and i definitely am going to change it at some point but i've been a little bit preoccupied with some of these other builds i've been doing as well and i'm really excited with how this world's turned out to be um the house is super small it's nothing crazy i'm just gonna put some banners right up there and it's just super simple. Just put some banners on these walls, all this kind of stuff. And it'll just be a place where if, if I need to go make a banner, this is the place we'll do it. So let's get a cartography table, I believe is how you pronounce it, in here. And there we go. And then we should be all set. So let's go grab that really quick and then we'll be good. Alrighty, so let's just place this probably about right here. I like this area. And for an example as well, I have some banners from some old villages that we've gone and taken these from. Is like what we'll do is we'll just be putting some banners like right here, maybe some like right here, right here. You know, I mean, you never know. But it'll just be a cool little little shop and a good place to actually get this done. The main portion of why I wanted to do this though in this world was just because I just want to keep adding to it. And I think just adding to this world as much as we can over time it's just going to be super, super good. And I mean, we still have more of this path to keep going along. And we have so many other things we can put in these general areas. And we have this whole area that I want to get done too. I want to definitely terraform this ginormous cave that I'm not going to fall into. Oh, yep. Oh, ow. That was scary. That was scary. See, I don't, I want to get rid of this. I don't think this needs to be there anymore. Um, and then I do have a surprise for you, but it is going to be in a long while. And it's going to be something with this mountain right over here. But the goal is before we get to that certain episode, which will be episode 50, which I mean, to me seems so far away at this point, but it will be here probably sooner than we think. Um, I do want to start building just continuously throughout this area and I want to terraform this a little bit we have just so many ideas that I'm gonna just keep going along and just building up this town as like we saw earlier I don't know if I showed you guys this yet but we have like even this little bridge over here that will transition to part of the city being over here and then we'll go from like here to maybe something cool in this general area as well to move over there and then go from over here to then over here and then to over there and then eventually this whole place i think it'll take me close to a couple couple more months to really actually find a reason for all these buildings to be here but eventually we're going to get this whole place covered the goal i think is probably to have this island area covered um we definitely are going to knock down some areas over here as well um and then we got, of course, this area, this area, and this area. But think about it. We've just been slowly. I, actually, I don't even know if it's been slowly. I just think it's been 
pretty productive to be honest I've been trying to grind out some videos for you guys and get out as much content as I can for you guys but for the next episode we will probably be doing a little bit more building and if you guys do you want to ask me any questions during any of the episodes as well or you have any build ideas or you want me to build something let me know in the comments below I will answer and I will actually talk about the comments at any point as well so with that being said I think that is all the time I actually have for today's episode it's going to be a little bit shorter than my normal ones but I thought we got a lot of work done and just as a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure to leave this video a like and also to subscribe to the channel. We will be trying to upload at least twice a week, at least until I have to go back to school because school is coming soon. But even then, I'm going to be trying to post twice a week. So with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.